Do you have a television? Do you have an AC? Do you have a toothpaste in your face? If yes, then you'll be getting one of these bad boys called electricity bill every freaking month. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to reduce your electricity bill by 90%. So make sure to watch till the end of this video. Electricity consumption in India has tripled since the early 2000s. When we couple that with tariff inflation of 6.6%, it should come as no surprise that electricity bills have tripled in the last decade. We think that we are the smartest species alive, but we are the only species paying for naturally available resources on our planet that are free, like land, water, electricity. These things are supposed to be free and we are paying for it. What a bunch of fools. Let us start with electricity. According to the Land Art Generator report, the whole world's electricity demands, I'm talking about the whole world, the whole world's demands can be met if you set up a solar power plant of an area of 705 kilometers by 705 kilometers. That is around 500,000 square kilometers, more or less the area of Spain. If we had such a huge solar power plant, electricity for the entire human population would be free. But you and I are both selfish. I mean, who cares about the rest of the people, right? Eight billion people, big whoop. Let's just see how we can get it for ourselves for free. And finally, get out of this electricity bill scam. Let's first begin with an understanding of how our electricity bill gets calculated. In simple mathematics, your final bill is the number of units that you consume multiplied by the cost per unit. The practice followed by most states is that the more units you consume, you get bumped to a higher tariff slab. This is very similar to income tax slabs. Basically, the more money you make, the more taxes you're charged. For example, if you're making more than 10 lakhs a year, you're bumped to the 30% income slab. This is business! Hey. So states like Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Telangana have some of the highest tariff rates in the country for electricity at 9 freaking rupees per unit. Every state electricity board sets a different tariff slab according to the number of units one consumes. Other states like Gujarat offer cheaper electricity with their highest tariff rate at only 5 rupees per unit. So if you want to move to a place with no alcohol and cheap tariff rates, Gujarat is the place for you. I know I'm not going. Point blank, the more units you consume at the highest tariff, the more will be your bill. And so it's in your interest and benefit to produce those highest tariff slab units by yourself so that you can keep your electricity cost down. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick max. But how do you do that? How do you produce electricity by yourself? That's where sun comes to your rescue. The solution to your expensive electricity problem lies in the installation of rooftop solar system. Most of us would have learned this in our school because all of you were busy playing pen fight in class. Just to recap, a solar panel harnesses the radiation we receive from the sun and converts it into clean electricity. It's like a plant, but unlike a selfish plant, it doesn't use the sunlight for its own food. Now, there are three types of rooftop solar systems as available in the market. Let's start with the cheapest one, because I know you guys. Firstly, there is the on-grid system, which is the cheapest to set up. And the electricity produced by your mini solar plant is transferred to the local grid. Secondly, there is the off-grid system, where the produced units are stored in a battery for one's own consumption. And of course, the battery and other hardware makes the system the most expensive of the three. And finally, there is the hybrid system, which combines the best parts of both on-grid and off-grid. That is, in the normal course of the day, the units produced go to the grid, but when the grid is switched off, the units are stored in an internal battery. Going forward, we will be discussing the workings of the on-grid system, as it is not only the most economical of all three systems, but also doesn't require much space to set up. Further, it certainly helps that the government also provides subsidies on the purchase of solar panels, which makes the system cheaper by around 20 to 40 percentage. Oh my God! Wow! All right, so now you're convinced about setting up a solar system. But what should you know before setting it up? You need to know two things. The primary requirement is setting up a solar system in space. No, not that, not that solar system. This one. Essentially, you need a shade-free area like a rooftop. Now, a 1 kilowatt hour panel takes up approximately 10 square meters of space, which is the size of a typical bedroom in a 2 BHK house. So, not very big, but not very small. Then there's also AMC or Annual Maintenance Contract. That's about 3,000 rupees per panel. All put together, the cost of 1 kilowatt hour panel comes between 60,000 rupees to 1 lakh. Now, I know you must be thinking this is a lot of money, but wait till the end of the video. So, ruko jara. To understand exactly how it can help you make more money than the amount of money that you're spending. In addition to the cost, the solar panels will also have a natural degradation in efficiency, which is around 0.5% annually. This brings the general life expectancy of these panels at 20 to 25 years. 
Other than the cost, another question people often ask is how many panels do I really need on my roof? Well, simply, the answer to this question is a combination of the area available to you and the units you consume, and to some extent, the highest tariff rate in your state, which is the number you're trying to replace with your own electricity produced. Now that you know the basic components of the solar system on your roof, here are the calculations. First, figure out how much shade-free area is available to you. Secondly, determine how many units are consumed at the highest tariff rates. For this, you have to go through your electricity bills and find out for yourself. And thirdly, use this tool that I have linked in the description down below to see how many panels that you require to substitute those higher tariff rates. Let's take an example. I pay around 4,500 rupees per month for my electricity bill. Oof, I know that's a lot. Now here is the breakdown by units. Now let's say I installed 4 kilowatt hour panels to offset 500 units of electricity consumption. This would be my monthly bill. You see that? I just slashed my bill by 10 times. That's a 90% reduction in my bill. My ROI on installing these four panels comes to around 18% and breaks even in just three years. Another interesting fact that one needs to consider is the subsidies offered by the government. Subsidies under this rooftop solar scheme is available only for on-grid solar systems and for a maximum of 10 panels. The subsidy is available only on those panels that are manufactured by Indian companies and have been notified by the local discount. That is the local electricity distribution company. As per the subsidy rules, the first 3 kilowatt hour panels receive a subsidy of rupees 14,588 and the next kilowatt hour panels up to the maximum allowance of 10 panels are subsidized by rupees 7,284 each per kilowatt hour panel. Now let's talk about net metering because this device will help you understand how much money you're saving by installing the solar panels. So under the on-grid system, electricity bills are arrived at using the net metering method. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Under the net metering method, you only pay the bill for the net of units consumed by you, that is imported units, minus units exported to the department, that is the units that you produce using your solar panels. So basically, you pay for the net amount of electricity that you're consuming. Now you can understand why we're only optimizing for the units at the highest tariff rates because even if you produce a lot of units if you are only optimizing for the lower units it's not going to make much financial sense for you so only install enough solar panels to reduce your bills at the highest tariff rates so now you know that you can save a lot of money by installing solar panels but exactly how much money let's understand this with the help of an example let's assume that there are 300 sunny days in a year and since a one kilowatt hour panel produces five units a day we get around 1500 units in a year as we can see here the rate of return is different for different unit prices. Essentially, lower the tariff rate, lower is the return on investment. Which means if you're producing units to offset the lower tariff rates, you're not going to get much benefit from your solar panels. Remember, I told you that your electricity bill is dependent on how much you consume. So if your electricity consumption is such that the average tariff rate is 5 or less, then it wouldn't make much sense for you to invest in a solar system. In fact, we have also calculated the break-even year at different unit prices, which has been calculated by assuming that the same saved electricity cost every year is reinvested at 11% post-tax returns until the useful life of the panels, which is around 20 to 25 years. Okay, enough of GAN. Now that you know money can be saved, how to actually implement all of this? Step 1. Register in the National Solar Rooftop Portal which is solarrooftop.gov.in. Step 2. Log in with your credentials and apply for a rooftop solar system as per that given form. Step 3. Wait for the feasibility report provided to you by the local discom. Once you receive the approval to install the solar system through any approved vendor by your local discom. Step 4. Once you have finished your installation, submit your system details to the local grid and apply for a net meter. Step 5. After installing the net meter and a final inspection from the discom, they will generate a commissioning certificate from the portal. Step 6. You can submit your bank details with the certificate. Subsidy on solar panels will be sent to you within 30 working days. Now I know all of this can be overwhelming. Because it is, it's not so easy to do all of this. So if you don't know where to start, companies like Tata Solar, Loom Solar and many others are providing these services. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just naming some of these companies that will help you to implement all of this. So the next time your dad yells, Bizli ka bil tera bab barega kya? Show him this video and tell him that you already got it covered. If some of you guys have already installed solar panels, I would love to hear the pros and cons of your experience in the comment section down below. That's it guys. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. If you learned something new, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.